Hey guys! So, uh, I feel a little bit proud of myself for getting motivated and getting on camera again two days in a row. Must be a record. Uh, I just wanted to share with you guys some stuff that I got from Etsy. Um, since I got into Lush, I've been buying some stuff on there and I've been watching Sex in the City all day long and feel like one of those crazy cat people even though I don't have a cat, so I figured I'd better do something a little more productive with my time. So yeah, so there's a user um, or a seller on Etsy called Dazzle Dot. I'll put the link in the sidebar and I've ordered from her twice now. Um, she mostly does soaps and I think she does like some um, whipped soap and body butter if I remember correctly. But uh, anyhow, I ordered from her a while back and I've tried a lot of her stuff. I gave a couple things away as a gift. Um, but there was one thing in particular that I really liked from her, so I had to reorder it again. So this is my mini haul, and then I'll show you my other stuff that I have from her. Um, so this is how she packages things. This is her little name on there, Dazzle Dot. Um, and what this is, it looks kind of weird, and when I first opened it, um, when I ordered it previously, I thought it was wrapped in tissue. But it's called Marshmallow Fluff Soap. And the consistency, it's hard to tell in the packaging. Um, I didn't want to take it out just yet. It's kind of soft right now because it's fresh. Um, as it sits out, it'll harden a little bit. But what this is, is that it's soap and it has like a little bit of a lather um, and cleansing properties, but it's also a scrub. Um, it has sugar in it, and so it's it, it's not like any other soap I've ever used. It's, it's totally different, but um, yeah, it's soft, it hardens up, and when you use this, it's it's an exfoliant, so um, le leaves little sugar crystals all over your skin along with the lather, and I absolutely love this. I think it's great. It is a little bit harder. Um, I know some people complain that like sugar scrubs are too harsh for their skin, so it is a little rough, but I really like that. So I use this usually um, in the shower. I used this up pretty quick. My fiance started using it. He really liked it. Um, so I bought another one. Her prices are really reasonable. I think this was, I want to say three something, um, three something. It's on sale right now. I don't know how long she's running her sale, so you'll have to check that out. Um, the next thing I got um, was this one. And this is a dark chocolate meets white chocolate. And if you can see, it's two tone. It has the dark side and then the light side. Um, light side's not completely white, it's kind of more like a tan. But this smells like chocolate, and I love my chocolate body butter. I've been looking for a chocolate soap, and since she was having a sale and I was going to order the marshmallow fluff, I got this as well. Um, the next one I got, I took out and used, so it's not in its packaging anymore. I don't know how to describe this. This is called Blue Volk. Um, I have it in a paper towel, but it's this really pretty blue color. And it's kind of a, I don't know, she said that it wasn't, if you were a girl who didn't, you know, always go for girly girl scents, then maybe you should try this, but she didn't really describe what the scent was. But it's kind of perfumey, but it's kind of clean. Um, I got this thinking that maybe it would be another scent my fiance would like, but I don't know if he'd actually use it, because I still think it's kind of girly, but it's, it's kind of like a light, perfumey smell but it's kind of clean at the same time. So that's kind of nice because most of what I've been getting lately is either fruity or fruity, like really like chocolate and honey and um, oatmeal-y, you know, porridge and that kind of stuff. Um, this is another one I got from her a while back and this one does have that kind of fruity smell, I think. Um, this is called Gothic Princess. So it's pink on top and black on the bottom. And these are pretty good size um, given the price. They're a little bit bigger usually than what I get from Lush for the same. Um, but yeah, it has kind of a, like a raspberry fruity smell. Um, this is supposed to mimic Love Spell, which I'm not familiar with, but that's what it's supposed to be an imitation of for those of you who are familiar with that. Um, the only thing I don't like about this one is that the black on the bottom, um, if you don't rinse it off well, it leaves, you know, little black marks on your skin. Um, and the same thing on my hands right now just from touching it. So I do really like the smell though on that one. Um, okay, and then another one, this one's divine. I think this was one of the first scents of lotion I bought when I was like 12 or 13. This is a cucumber melon. Oh, this one's so good. Um, and that's what it looks like. It has these really pretty chunks in it. Um, but this is, yeah, it's cucumber melon. I don't know if you can see that has all these really pretty like 
bright green chunks. And this one's kind of foamy too on the bottom. Um, it's not, it doesn't have exfoliants or sugar in it, but it has kind of a soft consistency even though I've had this for quite a while and it's cured. But yeah, it smells so good. This one I highly recommend if you like, you know, cucumber melon from Bath and Body Works or any of those kind of scents. That one's great. And then the last one I have, this one I've had for a while too. Um, this is one of the big bars again. Mm, and this one is pineapple. I think it's called Pineapple Confusion. But it's another really pretty one. And it just smells kind of has like a pineapple tropical smell. But yeah, that one smells really good too. So her prices are reason really reasonable. Um, her shipping is super fast. I think I ordered these on Monday and they got here today, Friday. Um, so she's based out of Oregon, but I love her products. She's very sweet. Um, when I placed my first order, I ordered, I think, four or five soaps. And she had sent me the Gothic Princess one free to try out. So um, she's really good about sending you something to try if you place a decent order. Um, this last time I only ordered three, so... And she's also having a sale right now, so she didn't. But I highly recommend her. Um, there's a couple other people I've bought from on Etsy as well that I enjoy, but... I, I think that the quality and the quantity of the soap that you get is a really good deal from her, and especially that marshmallow one. I absolutely love it. So, um, should check it out. Uh, follow the link. Maybe you might find some other stuff on Etsy. In case you're not familiar with what Etsy is, it's a, uh, it's like a handmade, um, boutique type of site. And so anybody really can start up a, just like YouTube, you can start an Etsy account and you decide what you're going to sell. You might sell stuff you find at a thrift store. Um, it may be it's stuff that you made yourself. Usually it's supposed to be handmade, so stuff you make yourself. But um, there's all kinds of stuff for like kids, for, you know, women, for men, um, fancy to cheap to artwork. So I don't know. Whenever I get on there, I usually end up spending quite a bit of time. Um, and it keeps me from watching Sex in the City all day. So <laughs> I hope you enjoyed and let me know if you have any questions. Um, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.